Hello everybody, it's New York Railfan202, and I'm happy to present the third episode of Engines of Metro North. This episode, we'll be discussing the Bombardier M7 and M7A EMU. Now let's get started. In the late 1990s, Metro North's fleet of M1 and M3 railcars were going strong. However, the M1s in particular were almost 35 years old and were in desperate need of replacement. For more about the M1s and M3s, check out my previous episode, and then come back here to find out about the replacement, the M7. In 1999, the MTA awarded the contract to Bombardier for their replacement, which consisted of 1,171 cars, with the Long Island Railroad receiving 836 and Metro North receiving 336. In 2002, the first sets were delivered to the Long Island Railroad for testing, and entered service that same year. Metro North got the first of their sets in 2004 and put them into service shortly after that. The last M7s were delivered in 2007 and the M1s were retired from service on the Long Island Railroad that same year. Metro North kept theirs around for another two years, but in 2009, the last trip of M1s and revenue service took place. Now on to the specifications. The M7 has 1,080 horsepower and a top speed of 100 miles per hour. However, just like the cars that came before it, the M7 is limited to 80 miles per hour in revenue service. The M7 has alternating current traction motors, which oh, contributes to it accelerating much faster than traditional EMU sets. Metro North and Long Island Railroad M7s differ apart from the third rail shoes in that Metro North's M7s have covers over the air conditioning units to protect them from low hanging branches and other debris. However, on the Long Island Railroad, the M7s do not have this as the Long Island Railroad's trackage does not have as many low hanging branches as Metro North's. However, the M7 service entry was not as smooth as you might think. The armrests on the cars were famous for getting caught in people's pockets and ripping their clothes. After the MTA paid out $100,000 to customers who complained, they decided to change out all the armrests on all of the M7s. There was also the small issue that the cars could not stop when leaves were on the line. This would cause the cars to slip and slide, and two-thirds of the M7 fleet had to be taken out of service. Schedules were cut, and M1s that had been prepared for scrap were placed back into service. Shortly after, the problem was fixed, and all M7s were able to break regardless of the conditions on the line. Despite these issues, the M7 soon became the most reliable piece of equipment on either railroad, as only two sets are out of service and they are both damaged from accidents. As for replacement, there is currently no scheduled replacement for the M7s. The M3s are due to be replaced by the M9s, but the M9s are not supposed to replace the M7s. I think that the M7s have 15 years or more left in service. Thank you for watching. If I could have done anything better, please let me know down in the comment section below. If you want to choose what I will be doing in the next episode, be sure to vote up in the top right of the screen. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for some more content like this, and leave a like to let me know how much you appreciated this video, and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.